Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be looking at the features in the iOS 8 iMessage app, comparing that to some of the features in the Tweak Aki and sharing those with you. The first thing we're going to be looking at is the iOS 8 message app here. So let's go ahead and open this up. And once you're inside here, there's a lot of different things you can do, guys. Uh, first of all, as everybody knows, there's the new quick reply. So let me show you that. Okay, now up here at the top, you see we have the little banner. And all we have to do is just tap that banner to reply that way. Or you can even pull down on the banner like so. And you get the little quick reply box right there. Now, let's go ahead and open the messages app back up. That probably looks familiar because... All you have to do in Aki is tap that little reply button also. Did you see that little reply button there? Right there on the right. And we get the little quick reply box right there too. So let's go ahead and open it up over here too. Now inside here, uh, if you wanted to type a new message, you could do that. But what I'm wanting to show you is inside the iOS 8 if you wanted to send a audio message all you have to do now is just hold a little microphone down over here the little microphone and as you're holding it down it will begin recording and, and as long as you hold it down it will record then you just need to swipe up on that arrow to put it in the message straight above and the person on the other end will get that audio message and they can listen to that you see it come in over here so if I wanted to listen to that I could just tap that and it would open it up in quick time quick player whatever you want to call it so you heard that another thing you can do in iOS 8 is you can add a video message so you see here where if we hold down the red button we can record a video so there's the front camera. So now let's get a couple seconds of video out on that. And you see it sends it to the message just like so. And if we wanted to listen to that, then it takes it just a little bit longer to send the video. It will come through over here on the device which has iOS 7 and all we have to do is just tap that and then tap play okay that's coming in iOS 7 guys this device over here has iOS 7 on it so now I'm going to go to the lock screen and if we wanted to reply all we would have to do is swipe to the right and that would open directly in Aki now if we swipe to the left we can either reply or mark this as red over here on this device. So if we tap reply, it'll open our quick reply box. That quick and that easy, guys. Pretty awesome, huh? Now, the next thing you can do, if you have someone that's just blowing up your phone and you want to silence that person, but you don't want to delete them, okay? All you would have to do inside of Aki is open up the message like so and find the thread that you would want to delete or silence I should say and once you get choose the thread you want you just swipe to the left and you see you have a silent and a delete button now if you tap delete that's going to delete the entire thread and I'll show you how to do that on iOS 8 just in a second. But if you want to delete it, just tap delete. But to silence that person, you just tap silent. And you won't be bothered by any more of their notifications. That person will never know you've silenced them. The read receipts will not go through. Nothing of the sort. They'll have no idea that you've silenced them. And you can deal with their message at your later convenience. Now, inside of iOS 8, if you wanted to silence the party over here you would simply just tap details and here you have a do not disturb button you just turn that on and now you would not be bothered by this particular person anymore 
So there's a lot of awesome, useful things inside of iOS 8, guys. And also inside of iOS 8, there's a way to store your messages. If you want to go in here to message, right here, scroll all the way to the bottom. You have a store messages feature, 30 days, year, forever. I just thought I'd show you that. But there's some pretty awesome things, guys, comparisons between Aki and iOS 8 iMessage. Hope you enjoyed it. Please share this on Facebook and Twitter. It really helps us here at the channel. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave because we'll be having a lot more iOS 8 coverage and keep coming back.